Hello. Today we are going to get to know one more variety of etching. It is my favorite one because it is made in one stage. That is, you have woven one circle and the etching is ready. You don't have to insert anything anywhere. In my opinion, it is the most convenient one from all the agents I have learned. I have gotten interested in it ad advised by Lena Derevenshina from Land of Masters. I have prepared three articles to show you three varieties of the etching, depending on the height of working poles we have. Here the poles are long, here they are medium, and here they are very short. Depending on it, we are going to vary the etching. Let's start with the medium one. So, we have finished the articles and the poles left are rather long. The first step we take is standard. We bend the pole behind the neighboring one and lead it outside. In the same way we bend the second one behind the next one and lead it outside. Bend the third one and the first one. Here, after we have bent the fourth one, we take the first one and bend it to team up the, first, the fourth pole. Bend the fifth one behind the sixth one, add the second one and bend it behind the sixth one as well. Bend the sixth one behind the seventh and the third one behind, behind the seventh one too and continue this way. Bend every next one and every previous one. Here there are only a couple left already. This single one will leave it. Continue. Bend and bend one from the couple as well. The next one. Here is the couple consisting of two. Take one, the lone one, and add it to team up the couple. One more time, the couple of two. Finishing. There are two poles left. One. Look. There is one to team it up. The last pole. We lead it into the loop that has been left. And we have to lead uh, the previous one inside to team it up. This way, all the vertical ones are have been inserted. There are only the couples left to insert. You see, they differ in length, so they kind of hint us which ones to insert. Take one of the poles and tick it in. Take the next one from two of the couple and insert into the next hole. And the last one, the last long one, we insert it into the hole where there is nothing sticking out of yet. That is all. We have finished the edge and smoothly corresponding to the pattern. So, we have got such an article, we have bent all the poles at a time, the only thing left is to drop some glue. You can do it the way you like, but I usually drop glue onto the places where the tubes stick out. You can also fix the places where the very poles go outside. So is the way you prefer. And then cut carefully the tips. One can also notice that the poles made of office paper do not lie very well. 
but I'm quite satisfied with the pattern of the surgeon anyway. It was the first variety. The second variety of the same agent is for shorter poles. Here I was weaving from painted tubes, so I moisturized them beforehand to avoid cracking while edging. So, we bend the first pole behind the second one, the second one behind the third, the third one behind the fourth, and the second one behind the fourth one at the same time. Our tips are not long, that's why we bend the fourth pole behind the fifth one and the second one behind the fifth one as well. The fifth one and the third one behind the sixth one. And continue in the same way. So you watched one more variety. Depending on how long the remaining tips are, we can vary. One, two, one, Honestly speaking, I don't count them. My hands lead me. Follow your hands. Reach the last pole. Here is the double one, we add it, soften the last one carefully, insert it into the loop, here is the one to team it up, insert it as well, there are only these two left to insert. Follow the pattern. One, and according to the pattern, two. There is one pole sticking out of every loop. Some of them are very short. That's why we have chosen this variety of edging. In the same way we drop glue and cut the tips 